Outlook brings to you excerpts from its latest issue titled Outrageous, Outlandish, Ostentatious from the Overlap, a section that looks at news and emerging events from Outlook's special lens. In the run-up to Lok Sabha elections 2024, the Overlap section in the latest issue of Outlook takes a deep dive into the four new castes as defined by PM Modi, women, farmers, youth, and the poor. Bonding with the Bonds by Stingdeen Dubhattacharya from Outlook. The revelation of donor-recipient connections in electoral bonds may cause discomfort to BJP, the biggest beneficiary, but many others are looking for cover too. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's famous anti-corruption promise, na khaunga na khane dunga, neither would he indulge in corruption nor would he allow anyone, is set to face an acid test just at the time when the country's 18th parliamentary election preparations are reaching the final stages. The election dates have been announced, parties have started naming candidates and seat-sharing adjustments between allies are being finalised. The rules of the Controversial Citizenship Amendment Act have been notified, rekindling memories of the 2019 protest due to the sharp polarising ability of the legislation. Former President Ramnath Kovind-led committee has submitted its report recommending one nation, one election in the country, another highly controversial and polarising subject. But it is the developments at the Supreme Court and the resultant release of hitherto secret information on anonymous political funding through electoral bonds that continue to grab public attention. Such an amount of corporate donations has never entered India's political party system, at least not through formal channels. The most crucial part of the data, the secret serial numbers of the electoral bonds, visible only under ultraviolet rays that can connect donors with the recipients of the funds, is yet to be published. Even without them, it has become evident that PM Modi's Bharatiya Janta Party has made massive fortunes since the introduction of the electoral bond scheme in 2018. The top court scrapped it in February, calling it unconstitutional and violation of electors' right to know the funders of political parties. For this and more, read the latest issue of Outlook.